Hey, welcome back. Um, so the next thing you want to do uh, to set up the program is connect to a Twilio account. Now Twilio is the carrier on which our software is built. Uh, much like your mobile phone, your cell phone would have a carrier on which your plan is build, um, Twilio is the carrier that we use. And they're a very well-known company. They're um, one of the most established and reliable companies on the market. This is what their homepage looks like at the time of recording here. And you can see they work with some famous names um, and they allow you to build all kinds of great software that uses phone features, um, telephone calls, voicemail, uh, SMS messaging, back and forth, two-way, um, all sorts of great stuff. Um, they are uh, they're terrific. They're very well known, like I said. They're also very inexpensive. Now, a lot of software in the market that's built on Twilio will mark up their prices, and that's one of the advantages. Chirply.io. Um, we don't do that. We don't actually stand in the middle and, and mark up the rates for anything. Uh, we allow you to pay them directly, and therefore you get the best rates. And per text message or minute of telephone call, Twilio is only going to charge you 0.75, that's three quarters of a single penny per text message or minute on the phone call, which is a terrific rate. So if you haven't yet got an account with Twilio, it's free. You can use the sign up button here. Uh, it is free to sign up, but uh, you will need to enable billing in order to use those Chirply features. So you can go ahead and do that here on this page. Once you have created an account and you've, cre you've uh, enabled billing, you'll get a dashboard within your Twilio account. And so this will be important for this step. You're going to want to look and find something called the account SID, your live sender ID, which is a, a long string of text, which you will highlight and copy. And then back over in uh, Chirply, you'll go to the upper right hand corner here and find the settings panel, which looks like this. And the first tab of the settings panels where you enter your Twilio credentials. So this is where you're going to paste that live sender ID, that SID. Then you can jump back into your Twilio dashboard and look for this auth token, which you can click the blue view button to reveal. Uh, you'll get another long string similar to this one, which you will highlight and copy. And then once again, return to Chirply and paste it in this field. And once you hit save, you'll be all set to go.